Hey again, summoners. How's it going? It's great to see you all. My name is Trey, and I'll be the host for our patch 13.4 low elo tier list. Like our previous videos, this series provides you with a comprehensive rundown of which champions you need to play to most effectively climb through the lower ranks. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content like this. Now, all that out of the way, let's get started. Starting things off, let's take a look at the top lane. This patch's OP picks are Garen, Olaf, and Yorick. Regarding notable changes, our very first highlighted pick is Yorick. What we consider important on this tier list is not only how hard a champion can potentially carry, but also how easy they are to learn and master. Luckily, Yorick is one of the easier champions to learn because of his simple kit, but yields an immense amount of carry potential with his oppressive laning phase and god tier split pushing. Beating Yorick in lane is already a challenge, but once he picks up any form of a lead, it's over for his opponents. His raw damage and sustain end up being too difficult for his opponents to deal with, and he'll outright win basically any fight. As long as you're trading effectively and making good use of your minion waves, you'll eventually even get comfortable enough to 1v2 some ganks. Yorick scales well, and you should have no problem making use of meta items like Coalbreaker to dominate a side lane and apply oppressive pressure on the enemy team. Next, we have Malphite, who falls into the A tier. While he might not be the strongest champion to solo carry with, he's a great investment, especially if you're a top laner who likes to have a potential counter pick ready. Even if you want to limit your champ pool, Malphite is a great choice to fill in that role of a tank. He's one of the easiest champions to play in the game with a simple kit that gets the job done. His gameplay and laning are also very straightforward. You trade or farm with Q and back off to wait for your passive shield before getting ready for another trade. While there are counter picks, they are few and you can always resort to farming and having more team fighting impact than them later. In terms of his carry potential, Malphite is the bane of nearly every AD top laner. He stacks armor and can also eat away at their attack speed. At the same time, his ultimate is disgustingly powerful. You can honestly win your team the game with a well-placed ultimate. Definitely don't underestimate him just because he's a tank. Malphite does a great deal of damage. And that covers the top lane, so next we'll run through the jungle. Starting off in the jungle, here's our tier list for this patch with Udir, Amumu, and Jarvan in the OP. We'll begin the jungle rundown with Jarvan. He's an easier pick, being rated 3 out of 7 by our analysts, but still yields some great carry potential. What keeps him from being the easiest is that he requires you to position his flag well. You won't be able to play him perfectly on your first try, but with a little bit of practice, anyone can quickly improve and start getting solid results with him. Luckily, his jungle clear is convenient and easy, leaving the bar of entry quite low. He's a great champion to pick whether you want to diversify your champion pool or main him. Jarvan is a great carry mainly because of his ability to initiate fights. The crowd control he brings and distance he can cover with his abilities makes him not only an excellent ganker, but also a great team fighter. He's able to initiate fights from afar and make the crucial picks to win team fights and even the game with the combination of his knockup and ultima. Another champion our analysts want to call out is Shivana for this patch. Ranking in the S tier, she's a terrifying carry to deal with in the later stages of the game due to her massive damage output. That said, Shivana's gameplay and mechanical skill floor make her easy enough to pick up for anybody. What makes her difficult is surviving the early game due to her weak pre-level 6 and because she can get invaded early on because of it. Compared to other champions, she lacks the reliable mobility she needs to get her damage out and instead needs the help of allies in order to fight. After hitting level 6, however, that all changes. In the later stages of the game, Shivana's e-spam puts the enemy in a horrible spot. She's able to gradually chip away at her enemies and eventually jump in to eliminate her main targets with an insane amount of burst damage. Another part of Shivana's game plan is controlling dragons. Since the meta revolves heavily around them, she's able to dominate games rather early once she starts setting the pace. And that covers the jungle, so now let's head on into the mid lane. To start, take a look at the tier list for this patch. This patch's OP picks are Aurelion Soul, Anivia, and Annie. The first pick we'll be highlighting here is a Soul. In terms of difficulty, he isn't the easiest pick, but in return for the investment, you'll get a champion that proves to be one of the hardest carries in the game right now. Aurelion Soul does take practice, and you'll want to spend time perfecting your positioning during both the lane phase and team fights. Another part of his gameplay is figuring out when the best times to roam are. Aurelion Soul is able to win fights for his team with his high damage as well as utility, and once you have enough stacks of Stardust, Aurelion Soul scales to become an absolute monster. Before moving on, let me also ask our question of the day. Appropriate for this series, what matters more to you? That a champion is easy to play, or that they're really strong? In my opinion, I value the simplicity of an easy champion more. Uh, you'll be able to more consistently bring out that champion's 100% rather than having to go through highs and lows on a harder champion that might be seen as stronger overall. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue on with the video. 
If you're looking for an easier alternative, look no further than Annie. Annie has been notoriously considered one of the easiest champs in the game for as long as League's been out. What makes her easy is her execution, and also the fact that she's a relatively safe pick. Given that the mid lane is a bit shorter, the bonus movement speed Annie gains from her E is plenty to keep her safe from the majority of ganks, especially since you're mostly just going to be farming and trading from afar. In spite of how simple she is, Annie is an incredible carry because of her damage and crowd control. She also scales relatively well following her recent buffs. Our analysts give Annie the maximum rating for her carry potential, so if you want the lowest amount of commitment to start seeing results, give her a try. It won't take more than a few games to really get the hang of playing her. Part of what makes Annie so good is that her stun and burst damage help her come online as a major threat much earlier than other mid laners. She shines in the early game teamfights because of her kit, and once fed, she's able to burst down opponents from full to zero instantly. When she has her flash and ultimate ready, a fed Annie is practically guaranteed to win your team the next teamfight. Now that we have the mid lane out of the way, let's take things down to bottom. Starting it off, here's our tier list for the patch featuring Samira, Ziggs, and Neela as our OP picks. For this video, we'll feature Ziggs. He's a relatively easy pick who brings a ton of pressure with his wave clear, utility, damage, and ability to quickly shred through turrets. Ziggs is an easier champion to pick up since he naturally plays at a distance that keeps him safe. Your opponents need to close some distance, which usually requires committing an ability or summoner spell, which you can then respond to with either your W, E, or both. There is a little bit of a challenge learning him, however, because you need to practice using your W to get the best results. There are going to be dangerous situations where every fraction of a second counts and mastering the placement of the W will save your life and possibly the game in countless situations. What makes Ziggs so strong is that if the enemy team doesn't have a reliable way to kill him, he can speed games up significantly. Since Ziggs, like I mentioned earlier, is so good at taking turrets, the enemy team is forced to start fights. Otherwise, they'll have to watch him break down their base in record time. Engaging and taking him out isn't that easy, however, as he's not only able to poke from afar with Q, but also controls space well with his E's minefield and W satchel charge. His opponents have to play around his cooldowns and fight him when those defensive abilities are on cooldown, but Ziggs can always just back off and wait for them to be available again before taking an aggressive stance. With bot lane covered, let's head on over to support to wrap things up. Make sure to take a good look at our various support tier list. For engaged supports, our OP pick is a Mumu. Enchanters are led by Sona, while Annie takes the lead as a pressure support. Annie is a great pick in both the mid lane and as a support, making her an exceptional champion to add to your pool. The pick we'll feature for this patch down here is Zillion, a heavily underrated support that brings some of the most impactful utility in the game. He's a little more difficult to learn because you'll need some practice placing your double bombs on a target to have the most impact in teamfights. Another thing you'll need is either fast reaction times or very good prediction skills to make use of his ultimate. More importantly, you'll need to make the decision of who to give your ultimate to. At the end of the day, you need a little bit of game knowledge as well as mechanical skill to make him work. That said, Zillion is a great answer to the current meta. He is one of the best counters to the high burst damage that's so prevalent at the moment. Slowly but surely, Zillion's win rate has been increasing and there's a good chance that it will continue to. You also can't forget how much utility Zillion brings. Aside from his unique ultimate, Zillion has an AoE stun as well as the ability to either speed up an ally or significantly slow down an enemy. While he is in many ways unconventional, Zillion definitely has what it takes to carry games and that's why our analysts highly value him. We're done with our supports now, and that also concludes our low elo tier list for patch 13.4. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Good luck in your games, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.